from what I was told, he was very smart. He graduated from high school <clears throat> at the age of 16. <clears throat> he was uh, in the May 38 class of what was then industrial high school. Oh. When I say everybody got his picture, yes, you know, everywhere in the neighborhood, our neighborhood, and I imagine <clears throat> in black Birmingham, you know. Yeah. He was remembered. He was remembered for years. There's, uh, you know, th different things that were done. Take, <clears throat> take this for instance. <clears throat> A group of women called the Housewives League raised money. Back when they used to sell bonds, you know, yeah. savings yeah. bonds. And <clears throat> they cashed those bonds in and they purchased what looks like the part of one of those B B12 bombers, you know, the yes, small planes. Yes, and it was named for him, and this is my mother when she christened it. My mother was awarded the, was given the the, the, the purple heart, and she wore it. She wore it out. Uh -huh. <laughs> I have it, and the ribbon on it is, you know, uh -huh. it looks kind of bad, worn, and I would like to get it refurbished, but I'm afraid if I send it somewhere, I might not get it back. Yes, this world has been involved in one war or another. So war is part of our history. Yes, ma'am. Well, you know, I feel that any time a person gives his life, all these deaths that have occurred, say in Iraq and, and in Afghanistan, even now, we have to think of them as sacrifices for our country. Yes, you know. And it didn't begin with Julius, it began yes, yeah. so many years before that.